So yeah, I guess I'll tell that story uh, because it's a pretty cool one. So I was, uh, I've been living where I live here now for two and a half years, same building, same property here in Miami Beach. And there's this guy on my property who, he just works. He just works out all the time, nonstop. Uh, he's always working out at the pool. I see him in the gym all the time. I think he's about 50, 51 years old, and he's super tan, and he looks healthy, but he's just very ag aggressive uh, in his workouts. And nothing wrong with that, but I, when I work out, when I go to the gym, I just like to get in and out. I really honestly, like, I love networking. I love meeting new people, but I just... For me, I just put those headphones in and I just fucking grind and get out of there. So this guy, I could tell he always wanted to like talk to me and always wanted to work out with me and I just kind of would avoid him because like I said, I'm just trying to get in there, get out of there, get the work done, get the videos in, get the content done and then be on my way because uh, there's so many distractions in life. You just got to focus, especially when you're someone like me who has ADD and has trouble focusing. So uh, I would avoid this guy a little bit. And uh, recently he started like approaching me more and asking to work out with me. And he'd like gas me up and just like compliment me and tell me like how much of a savage I was, how alpha I was. Like, so I started working out with this guy and uh, he actually helped me a lot. I call him my hype man now. Whenever I want to hit a PR in the gym, like I look for this dude because he'll like, he'll yell at me, he'll yell, let's go. He'll slap me on the back like he just get, gets me motivated gets me hyped up so I finally started working out with this guy a little bit and I found out that he was the uh, doorman at Zuma and Zuma is obviously a very famous restaurant um, and they don't have no nobody working the door there and uh, so I one day he helped me on deadlifts I went for 500 and I got it and if, I wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for his support on that day. And he actually, he gave me a friendship bracelet too, after I ripped that 500 on deadlift. So that day, uh, my girlfriend was working and she got out of work at 10 p.m. And I messaged her and I was like, hey, let's go to Zuma tonight. And that's, uh, it was just my intuition and God's plan telling me go to Zuma. So we end up at Zuma and uh, we were running late. We got there at about 12.10 p uh, 12, 10 in the morning, 12.10 a.m., uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. And uh, <clears throat> I was all worried because we were late that they wouldn't be able to serve us and wouldn't be able to get a drink or any of that stuff. We went all the way to Brickell from South Beach. And uh, just so happens that the doorman, my hype man, my new gym friend, he is hanging out with Colby Covington, the UFC champion, and Colby Covington's date. And that was it. It was me, my girlfriend, Colby, his girl, and Kasim. Only five people at Zuma, and then obviously a few other workers. So immediately, Kasim's out talking to Colby, waves me over, introduces me to Colby, and says, show him that 500 deadlift you did earlier. So I just whip open my phone, I show Colby the deadlift, and uh, the rest is history. We just hit it off. Uh, we uh, talked the whole night and we pulled up chairs to his table at Zuma and we uh, just started talking, hitting off about Trump, about vaccines, about pharma, about uh, health and training and workouts. And um, yeah, it was pretty incredible. And so then Colby invited us to go to the club with him. So me and Katie, my girlfriend, we hopped in his Bentley and he whipped us over to Gala. And we had a great night there and got to chill with him the whole night. And there are plans in the work for uh, us to train together. I'm gonna help him with his power in the gym, to help him in the cage. And he's gonna help me with my fighting because I showed him some of my boxing videos and my boxing videos are impressive. It's a hell of a lot of power, ferocity and aggression, uh, but not a lot of skill. Like I've never, I know how to fight, I know how to box, but I've never trained never been in footwork I've never done boxing classes so he's told me I showed him my video at the, uh, at the club he was like damn man that's like my favorite style of fighting guys who like don't have the skill but so much fucking potential and power and aggression and like natural ability so we're gonna work together over the next few months or few years and I'm really looking forward to that and that's just 
uh, kind of following God's plan and trusting your intuition. Something was telling me to go see Kasim at Zuma that night, and uh, we were late. Things weren't looking the best, and then just happens we end up with uh, Colby Covington. And then another night, I had my friend down here recently, one of my best friends from growing up, Connor, and. We only did we did we ate out a lot we did a lot of dinners out but we we ch we said we were only going to do one like really nice dinner out while he was here because he's currently an mba student at cornell and he's not working so he's kind of just like not trying to blow through all his money so we're like all right let's do one nice dinner and we did it the second night he was here we went to smith and walensky's on the water here in miami beach and uh, we just happened to sit next to greg o'gallagher kino body and me and connor we've been watching Greg with Kino Body since like 2012 and a lot of the inspiration of how we work out the two of us and me and my training and everything is based off Greg and we got to meet like someone we watched for the last decade and I happen to be drunk I usually don't get drunk very often and I happen to be drunk and just walked right up to him I said what's up man I'm Andrew big fan been watching you for a long time uh, this is my boy Connor. Connor's the one who introduced me to you. Um, Connor came over, shook his hand, and uh, we set up a workout together, but then it didn't end up working out. But he lives down here at the Continuum in Miami Beach, and I'm about a mile away. I spent a lot of time at the Continuum, so uh, it's gonna happen. Me and Greg will get a workout in. And then uh, Wes Watson reached out to me recently and wants to work with me and my page. So man, things are coming together and I just, uh, I've said in other videos, having a girlfriend and someone to support me and someone to be on the same team as me is really important to me and that's when I really thrive. Um, I mean, I would thrive no matter what. I would thrive single, I would thrive dating, I would thrive married, but I just really like having someone that I can come home to and have a conversation with and share my, my wins and riches with. So I found Katie, who uh, was the girl that I wanted to be with growing up. Uh, out of all the people in my town, out of all the people I grew up with, she was the one. And uh, I've talked about the story in other videos, I believe, but she just fell into my lap. Uh, I didn't reach out to her, I didn't hit her up, it just happened. And we've been dating for three months now, and uh, we sleep together every night, and it's been, uh, been amazing. We've done so many cool things together. And, uh, she was my first kiss. That was her first kiss. Um, so it's just wild how life works. And so I've been busy with her, and she's actually a client as well. And she needed my care and attention, and I gave it to her to the best of my ability.